Hey, it's Star Guardian Ryuka, and welcome back to my channel. Today, we'll be diving into some more Pokemon biology as we analyze Bulbasaur and its evolutions. We'll be going over this Pokemon's anatomy, game data, and habitat throughout the episode, as well as discussing the same points about Bulbasaur's entire evolutionary line. Today's evolutionary line starts with Bulbasaur. This Pokemon is known as the Seed Pokemon, and is a grass and poison type Pokemon. Bulbasaurs have been shown to have a light green or light blue body with dark splotches. Its facial features include red eyes and a flat face with pointed ears. It not only has sharp teeth, but also sharp claws. Bulbasaur doesn't learn any biting or slashing moves naturally, however, so its teeth and claws are most likely not used as weapons. The sharp teeth are also somewhat of an anomaly, as Bulbasaurs receive a majority of their nutrients from the green-colored bulb on its back, therefore making it an autotroph. Though, the sharp teeth could mean that Bulbasaur is actually a mixotroph. This idea is supported by the Kanto Pokedex, that states that Bulbasaur can go for days without eating, but it still requires some outside sustenance. Bulbasaur also has vines that it can retract from the bulb on its back, these vines have a variety of uses, ranging from obtaining items in high places that Bulbasaur wouldn't normally be able to reach, to restraining and fighting off predators. On average, Bulbasaurs have a height of 0.7 meters and a weight of 6.9 kilograms. When compared to real-world animals, Bulbasaur is similar to that of a frog, and the bulb on its back resembles that of a lily. Upon reaching level 16, Bulbasaur will evolve into Ivysaur. Ivysaur shares its classification and type with Bulbasaur. Ivysaur resembles a much larger Bulbasaur with pointed eyes and a bud where the bulb used to be. Just like Bulbasaur, Ivysaur has been seen in both a green color and a light blue color. Ivysaur also shares Bulbasaur's sharp teeth and claws, but still obtains most of its nutrients through photosynthesis. Ivysaur, like Bulbasaur, seems to be a mixotroph. Bulbasaur's retractable vines are also passed onto Ivysaur, using them as a primary weapon against attackers. Unlike Bulbasaur, some Ivysaur have the ability to stand on their hind legs. However, they lose this ability once the bud on their back begins to bloom. Upon blooming, the flower releases a fragrant aroma. On average, Ivysaurs have a height of 1 meter exactly and a weight of 13 kilograms. Just like Bulbasaur, Ivysaur is similar to that of a frog, but its bud resembles that of a Raphalasia, not a lily. Ivysaur is the only first evolution grass and poison type Pokemon that doesn't evolve with a stone. Gloom, Weeping Bell, and Roselia all evolve with an evolutionary stone. Ivysaur will instead evolve into Venusaur at level 32. Venusaur is much wider than its evolutionary counterparts. This includes a wider head, a wider body, a wider muzzle, and mouth, as well as wider legs. Venusaur also has round red eyes, as well as a muzzle that's slightly more protruding than its previous evolutions. It also has large bumps that run up and down its legs. Venusaur still has the pointed ears, sharp teeth, and sharp claws that its previous evolutions share. It also shares the coloration of its previous evolutions, as some Venusaur appear as green, while others appear as the more common cobalt color. The flower on Venusaur's back has bloomed into a pink flower with white spots. The flower is accompanied by a large brown trunk with green fronds, and if the Venusaur is female, the flower will bear a large yellow seed. Venusaur can't walk on its hind legs, though certain Venusaur can forcibly close the flower on its back by using its strong fronds. The flower can be used to attract other Pokemon, most likely in order to attract prey in order to sustain its flower. This aroma has been shown to calm Pokemon who are currently fighting. Just like its previous evolutions, Venusaur is a mixotroph, as it can consume other beings for nutrients or obtain nutrients through photosynthesis. On average, 
Venusaurs have a height of 2 meters and a weight of 100 kilograms. Venusaur shares traits with frogs and toads, showing that overall, these Pokemon are amphibian in nature. Venusaur also has the ability to not only Mega Evolve, but also to Gigantamax. Mega Venusaur is slightly larger than normal Venusaur, growing in size in order to support the larger flowers it has gained through Mega Evolution. Two pink flowers bloom, one over Venusaur's face and another on Venusaur's rear. Venusaur also gains the same dark patches on its face that it lost after evolving from Ivysaur. The flower on its back grows in size while also growing a variety of vines and doubling its fronds. On average, Mega Venusaurs have a height of 2.4 meters and a weight of 155.5 kilograms. Upon Gigantamaxing, Venusaur grows in size and the flower grows, covering its entire body. Its eyes glow green and become pointed. The fronds under the flower also grow and drape Venusaur's body. Glowing hexagonal spots also cover Venusaur's underbelly. Gigantamax Venusaur can also produce a type of pollen that can cause fainting if one breathes in too much. On average, Gigantamax Venusaurs have a height of 24 meters and an unknown average weight. As stated previously, all members of the Bulbasaur line are grass and poison type Pokemon that are all classified as the seed Pokemon. Both Bulbasaur and Ivysaur lack sexual dimorphism, but Venusaur as a flower will only ever bear a seed if the Pokemon is female. This species has a sex ratio of 7 males for every 1 female. The members of this evolutionary line can breed with any Pokemon who resides within the monster or grass egg groups. Bulbasaur eggs have a hatch time of about 5,268 steps and have a base friendship of 70. Each member of the Bulbasaur line has Overgrow as their main ability and Chlorophyll as their hidden ability. Mega Venusaur has Thick Fat as its ability, however. Modern Bulbasaur currently have the following stats. 45 HP, 49 attack, 49 defense, 65 special attack, 65 special defense, and 45 speed. Its current natural learn set is Tackle and Growl at level 1, Fine Whip at level 3, Growth at level 6, Leech Seed at level 9, Razor Leaf at level 12, Poison Powder and Sleep Powder at level 15, Seed Bomb at level 18, Take Down at level 21, Sweet Scent at level 24, Synthesis at level 27, Worry Seed at level 30, Double Edge at level 33, and Solar Beam at level 36. Ivysaur's stats are slightly higher than Bulbasaur's, being 60 HP, 62 attack, 63 defense, 80 special attack, and 80 special defense, as well as 60 speed. Its current natural learn set is Tackle, Growl, Vine Whip, and Growth at level 1, Leech Seed at level 9, Razor Leaf at level 12, Poison and Sleep Powder at level 15, Seed Bomb at level 20, Take Down at level 25, Sweet Scent at level 30, Synthesis at level 35, Worry Seed at level 40, Double Edge at level 45, and finally Solar Beam at level 50. Venusaur becomes even more powerful than Ivysaur and Bulbasaur. Having 80 HP, 82 attack, 83 defense, 100 special attack, 100 special defense, and 80 speed. Upon Mega Evolving, Venusaur gains 18 attack, a whopping 40 defense, 22 special attack, and 20 special defense. Its current natural learn set is Petal Blizzard, Petal Dance, Tackle, Growl, Fine Whip, and Growth at level 1. Leech Seed at level 9, Razor Leaf at level 12, Poison Powder and Sleep Powder at level 15, Seed Bomb at level 20, Take Down at level 25, Sweet Sense at level 30, Synthesis at level 37, Worry Seed at level 44, Double Edge at level 51, and finally Solar Beam at level 58. Venusaur also learns Petal Blizzard upon evolving from Ivysaur. Upon Gigantamaxing, Venusaur is able to use the move G-Max Vine Lash, which inflicts damage and, for 4 turns at the end of each turn, deals damage to non-grass type Pokemon equal to 1 -sixth of their maximum HP. The Bulbasaur line is a very rare group of Pokemon, who are almost never seen in the wild. Bulbasaur are most often given as starter Pokemon, 
to new trainers in the Kanto region. These Bulbasaur are bred and raised by professional breeders until they are given to professors in order to bestow them upon new trainers. The professor who requests this Pokemon the most often is the famous Professor Oak, with Professor Sycamore requesting the species the second most often. Very few Bulbasaur are seen in the wild, but there have been some sightings of wild Bulbasaur in the past. They are often found in grasslands and forests throughout the Kanto region. The most known populous group of wild Bulbasaur live within the Viridian Forest. They have also been very rarely spotted on Route 2 of the Alola region. This is most likely due to people importing Bulbasaurs from the Kanto region to the Alola region, or due to breeders releasing the species into the wild around the area, similar to the Young Goose situation. Not much else can be said about the Bulbasaur line habitat. They're very rare in the wild and are almost entirely domesticated. This is most likely due to the species having a sex ratio of 7 males to every 1 female, allowing less Bulbasaurs to reproduce. With that, we've gone over the biology of the Bulbasaur line, including their anatomy, game data, and their habitat. Let me know if there was anything I missed. This is going to be a series that I'm going to try to do every week. If you want to see more content, be sure to like the video and subscribe. Also, be sure to check out my Twitch and my Twitter below.